Hello, I'm back. I uh, just got everything set up with the H Calorie All in One 8K diesel heater. It's nighttime now. I'm actually using a Basis power station, an IOTA series that is uh, rated for 420 watts. It has two 110. AC outlets in back right here and it's powering a 12 volt 30 amp power supply because the 12 volt port Um, doesn't support anything higher than 7 point I think it's 7.8 amps 7.6 amps uh, this right now is at 84% claims it has 20 hours left in battery life on it I'm in um, AC right now and we're gonna power up I did prime it and get it started once just to make sure it does operate as expected. Um, it says we're drawing approximately 10 watts with the power supply on. The battery, the basis power station is currently at 12C. And let's fire up the old diesel heater. There's an audible alert saying it's going to start to heat. And over here, you're going to notice these numbers. Right now what's happening is the glow plug is starting to heat up. We're at 26 watts. And you'll watch that 25 slowly start to rise hopefully when I did have it running it seemed to run pretty good um, the fuel tank I had to drill that spigot down the bottom which I was sketched out about doing because I never like doing stuff like that but uh, blood the line very simple setup um, really didn't have to go over it too much. Um, all pretty cut and dry. The exhaust is probably still warm from the last run. And I did get some pretty warm air coming out of that duct. I just wanted to get up a dry run and see how it worked. Where are we at now? Now we're at 116 watts. I'm just gonna watch that for a minute. Hundred and thirty-six watts. takes about a minute minute and a half to get going and then you'll start hearing a light tapping sound and that's the diesel dosing pump Let's see what this is doing looks like there's fresh air coming in fan is spinning I don't think that fuel gauge level is right but Considering I've only got about a half tank there. We are sitting at currently about 117 watts. I just heard the dosing pump kick in. I'm not sure if you can hear that. There's always been complaints about these dosing pumps being noisy. This one's not. I think if it's outside and you're inside, you're never going to hear it. 
anyone nearby isn't going to hear it. Okay, so that just tripped off. Get the screen back on. So we got 123 watts. 142 watts. And it looks like it sounds like I'm getting some diesel pushed up through the exhaust. I can't, no, I'm not sure if you can see that. It's starting to ramp up now. You're at 160, that was at 162 for a moment, now 142. 148, 149. 150 tops out. Start. You just went down, so the glow plug must have just kicked off. And let's go up here and see what kind of heat we're putting out. Oh, yeah. I smell a very faint, actually no, it's just directly from the exhaust here, which is smoking hot. Huh? And yeah, you couldn't keep your hand in front of there very much longer than, you know, 10 seconds right now. Sounds like it's ramped up. And we're settling back down. 26 watts, 25 watts. I'm going to turn down as low as I can get her. Sounds normal, everything sounds normal. I just bought this, I just wanted to try it out to see if it would work today, and it definitely does work. I've got a secondary way of starting this thing, but um, this will be my primary way to start it. So we're at 26 watts, 7.7 .7 hours left on that basis battery. I just turned down temp to nine to try to see how slow I can get this fan going. We're still at 26 watts. So I know if I turn this up, I just turned up to 33C. Now the fan's ramping up. Dosing pump is ramping up, and we're going back up in wattage. 53 watts, 55 watts. Okay. Turn it back down. See if it, how fast it responds. Back to 8C. I'm going to ramp it down and then I'm going to shut it down. Settling back down to about 25, 26 watts. So the initial startup of this thing is a, a little bit more powerful than what I thought it was going to be. You need something pretty substantial to run this thing. 
to actually run the diesel heater itself. Um, so with it on its lowest setting, this is the AK version. And I may tune it down, but not until I get make sure I know it's gonna run right. 7.6 hours of battery life at 80% total battery life at 25 watts. So what I'm going to do now, since it's ramped all the way down, I'm going to shut it down. Let it go through its cool down period. And this should ramp back up. My understanding about that is it cleans off the glow plug. It goes through kind of a cleaning cycle. And I'm just paying attention to the watts. I want to know how much power it takes to ramp up and how much power it takes to ramp down. And this could take several minutes, depending on how long and the conditions that you're in. You want it to basically say thanks for using it'll shut itself off and you're done and all you have to do for the next time since you got fuel in the tank is press the power button as long as you have power and I'm really glad that I bought I was only going to point to buy a 15 amp version um, but I'm really glad I got the 30. So now I can run um, some other 12 volt accessories with this as well. Now we're down to 18 watts. should be any time when it says that it's going to turn off. It does take a few minutes. It's still at 18 watts. Uh, 10 of that should be just the power supply being turned on. This power supply, with the 360 watt power supply. Just waiting for it to shut down. This gives you a better idea of what the ramp up and cool down period actually is. Thanks for using. I wish you a safe journey. It just shut off. It just said, Thanks for using. We wish you a safe journey. And that's going to be all for me, too. I hope you, uh, you hope you. I hope you shared this moment of joy with me because I've been wanting one of these for a while now and now I have one that works. I wish everyone has a great night. Bye-bye.